Fake? Charles breaks silence on first meeting with Lilibet made Meghan's darkest truth come out. Prince Charles met his granddaughter Lilibet and had a reunion with his grandson Archie when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle brought their children to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations earlier this month. Prince Charles finally met his granddaughter Lilibet face to face for the first time during a very emotional meeting earlier this month, a royal source has revealed. The heir to the throne got to meet the one year old and had a special reunion with his three year old grandson Archie when their parents Prince Harry and Meghan Markle brought them to the UK for the Queen's Jubilee. Both Charles and his wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, were said to be absolutely thrilled to see Harry and Meghan and their children when they travelled briefly from California for the celebrations earlier this month. Harry, who quit as a senior working royal in 2020, has had a troubled relationship with Charles, telling how he felt let down and how his father stopped taking his calls at one stage. The couple left the monarchy in crisis after using a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey to accuse an unnamed royal of being racist towards their son before he was born, and the wider institution of failing to help Meghan when she had suicidal thoughts. But a senior royal source, at the briefing of Clarence House's annual review, said it had been wonderful to have the Sussexes back in the UK at the start of June. It was fantastic to see them. It was wonderful to have them back in Britain, the source said. The Prince and the Duchess were absolutely thrilled to see them. The Prince, of course, hasn't seen his grandson Archie for a bit of time and so it was very, very, very special to have some time with him. He hadn't met Lily, his granddaughter, and so to meet her was very emotional, a very, very wonderful thing. Lily had her first birthday during her stay and also met her namesake great-grandmother, the Queen, for the first time. Harry and Meghan appeared at the Jubilee service of Thanksgiving in St. Paul's Cathedral but sat far across the aisle from Charles and Prince William and wife Kate, and did not take part in any other public Jubilee festivities. The couple stepped down as working royals and moved to the US in 2020, causing a stir in the royal family. Back then, part of their announcement was that they intend to become financially independent. Since then, it has been reported that they are working on a documentary series featuring their lives in California, as part of a multi-million deal with Netflix. A royal biographer recently blasted the couple over their intentions to showcase their day-to-day -day lives, including their children, in exchange for money. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have two children together, Archie, three, and Lilibet, one. Speaking to Bella magazine, Duncan Larkham suggested the two toddlers are very likely to be on screen. He said, how could you have a fly on the wall docuseries and not feature the children? And added, so, are they going to turn Archie and Lilibet into TV superstars just because Netflix is paying them a lot of money? Adding of the details of their reality series, Mr. Larkham shared, if the sums of money involved are accurate, Netflix are going to want more than footage of Prince Harry doing the washing up. He explained to magazine, they'll have to show some of the reality of life inside the world of Harry and Meghan. We could see who wears the trousers, and their arguments and rows. You can imagine the revelations that could come out from conversations being filmed and broadcast. The expert also claimed that the production in partnership with the streaming giant is a desperate move, which comes in contradiction to the couple's fight for privacy. Mr. Larkham wondered, how can a couple that are so fiercely protective of their privacy open their doors up to Netflix for a docuseries? And he added, the contradictions are enormous. They told us they wanted to go and live a quieter, lower-profile life.